Hi everybody, I am that nursing prop and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to give medications through a G-tube. So let's get into it. So before we would give any medications to a patient with a G-tube, we of course wash our hands, provide privacy, identify the patient with two identifiers, name and date of birth, right? So that's the stuff we always do for every skill. Before we would do anything else, we want to assess the site. So we want to assess the G-tube site before we can give a med through it. So when assessing the site, what are we looking for? We are looking for skin breakdown. We are looking to see if there's any signs of infection like redness or swelling. And then we are also looking to make sure that everything is attached like it's supposed to be. Now this is taped down because it's on a mannequin, but uh, most people who have this done, they're actually sutured down. And I also wanted to show you the different types you might see. So this one has this nice little valve on it that turns, so on and off. So when the arrows are pointing, then that port is open, but when it's off, nothing can go to it. So right now it's off, so nothing can go to it. Other times you might see them where they don't have that piece and they look just like this. So in this instance, what you're going to do, instead of turning that valve, you're just going to plug it like that. So you have to um, take it off and put it back in every time. So they might look like this, or they might have this extra piece on it. So I just wanted to show that. Now let's get into the skill. So since this is a medication skill, we still need to consult our MAR, right? We need to do our three checks, so make sure everything looks good. Then we'll take our medication, and then we'll compare it and make sure everything matches, checking the expiration date. We'll check on our EMAR for allergies, and then we'll verify with the patient, do they have any allergies? And then we'll go into the room and we're ready to give it after we hand hygiene again, privacy again, and verify the patient with two identifiers. To prepare the patient, you want them to be sitting up in a semi-fowler's or a high-fowler's position. And then you're going to grab a towel and place it underneath the area, just in case there's any sort of drainage or leakage coming out when you do this. That way you don't get it on their clothes and you don't get it on their bed. Before we can give any med, we need to check for placement. So you're going to take your big syringe, your 60cc syringe, you're going to attach it here. You're going to turn this so that there is an arrow pointing to where the syringe is attached and an arrow pointing towards the patient. That means they're open. And you're going to pull back for gastric contents. Now, obviously, this is a mannequin. It's pretend we don't have gastric contents. On a real person, you would. And what would that look like? It would look like greenish. It can look like a brownish yellow in color. It should never ever be red, and it should never ever be black, okay? And if your patient had a tube feeding, you might get a little bit of what looks like a tube feeding, but if they just had it recently, you might pull a little bit of that back as well. So it kind of depends. Every hospital is gonna have their own policies about like what to do with it. So some places will say you have to dispose of it in a biohazard bag. Some of it will just say, push it back in and give it back to the patient. It's their gastric contents, they could have it. So that's gonna vary hospital to hospital. So we've checked, we've verified, it's in the right spot. Now we can give our meds. Before we do that, we have to turn everything off again, okay? Because we don't want anything to accidentally leak out. The next step, we're gonna take our 60cc syringe again, but look, I've taken the plunger out now, okay? So we're gonna turn this to open it again. We're gonna place this in here, holding it like this. And now we're gonna give them 30 mLs of water. And this is a flush, okay? So our first thing we're gonna do before we give the med is we're gonna flush with 30 mLs. Then we're gonna turn it off again and go prepare our med. In an ideal setting, all medications we would give would be in a liquid form. So if there is an option for your medication to be in a liquid form, ask for it. Ask doctor if they can change the order to make it a liquid form. Not every medication has that option. So pills can be crushed and capsules can be opened. And then we will mix those with 30 mLs of water. We're gonna give one medication at a time, and meds that can't be crushed include extended release or enteric coated medications. So make sure you're reading that stuff before you try to crush it. 
So we've had our med, we verified it on the MAR, we've double checked everything, allergies, expiration date, all of that. Now we're ready to actually crush it. So what I recommend doing, and you're gonna see a bunch of different types of crushers in your, um, your practice. This is the kind that I have, okay? It's a little cup crusher. So what I recommend doing is actually putting another little med cup inside of this. So you're gonna put your pill in. Then you're gonna take this piece and see what it looks like. And then we're gonna twist it a couple times and that's how it gets crushed. And then you'll see it's like a powder now. And we're gonna add our fluid. So we're allowed to use tap water at our facility here. So make sure that this isn't too cold when you get it because it could cause cramping and of course too hot could cause burns. So you want it to be kind of like a warm temperature, like a lukewarm temperature when you get your water. And then you'll have your big syringe, your big 60cc syringe. So pull back about 30. So we have our crushed medication and we're gonna add our 30 mLs of our water. And then I even usually mix it a little using this part of the syringe. Now we're ready to go give it to the patient. Now we're ready to give our medication. So we'll put our syringe back in, we'll turn it so that it's off, and then we'll explain just like we would, you know, any medication like, Mr. Johnson, this is your medication for your blood pressure. Do you have any questions about it? And then we'll just give it like that. If you have to give multiple medications to your patient, then in between each medication, you want to flush with 10 mLs of water. And then when you're all done, you've given your final med, you do your final flush with another 30. After you give your medications, you wanna make sure that the patient stays sitting up. So a quick review. We're gonna assess the area, the skin integrity, look for signs of infection, right? We're gonna pull back and check for gastric contents. We're gonna flush with 30 mLs. We're gonna mix our meds with 30 mLs and we're gonna give them one at a time. In between medications, we're gonna flush with 10 mLs. And then we're all done with our final medication, we're going to flush with 30 mLs. A few things to keep in mind about this skill particularly is it kind of varies based on where you work. Different places have different policies and procedures. For example, one hospital might have you flush with 20 mLs and another will have you flush with 30 or one hospital might have you use tap water and another one will say you have to use sterile water. So things like that do vary based on like the place that you work. So just know that. But as a nursing student, this is the skill right out of the skills book. So this is the way I'm teaching it. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.